August's house. It was already the middle of January, and we still hadn't even chosen what science fair project we were going to work on. I guess I kept putting it off because I just didn't want to do it. Finally, August was like, dude, we have to do this. So we went to his house after school. I was really nervous because I didn't know if August had ever told his parents about what we now called the Halloween incident. Turns out the dad wasn't even home and the mom was out running errands. I'm pretty sure from the two seconds I'd spent talking to her that Augie had never mentioned a thing about it. She was super cool and friendly toward me. When I first walked into Augie's room, I was like, Whoa, Augie, you have got a serious Star Wars addiction. He had ledges full of Star Wars miniatures and a huge The Empire Strikes Back poster on his wall. I know, right? He laughed. He sat down on a rolling chair next to his desk, and I plopped down on a beanbag chair in the corner. That's when his dog waddled into the room right up to me. He was on your holiday card, I said, letting the dog sniff my hand. She, he corrected me. Daisy, you can pet her. She doesn't bite. When I started petting her, she basically rolled over onto her back. She wants you to rub her tummy, said August. Okay, this is the cutest dog I've ever seen, I said, rubbing her stomach. I know, right? She's the best dog in the world, aren't you, girly? As soon as she heard August's voice say that, the dog started wagging her tail and went over to him. Who's my little girly? Who's my little girly? August was saying as she licked him all over the face. I wish I had a dog, I said. My parents think our apartment's too small. I started looking around at the stuff in his room while he turned on the computer. Hey, you've got an Xbox 360? Can we play? Dude, we're here to work on the science fair project. Do you have Halo? Of course I have Halo. Please, can we play? He had logged on to the Beecher website and was now scrolling down Miss Rubin's teacher page through the list of science fair projects. Can you see from there? He said. I sighed and went to sit on a little stool that was right next to him. Cool iMac, I said. What kind of computer do you have? Dude, I don't even have my own room, much less my own computer. My parents have this ancient Dell that's practically dead. Okay, uh, how about this one? He said, turning the screen in my direction so I would look. I made a quick scan of the screen and my eyes literally started blurring. Making a sun clock, he said. That sounds kind of cool. I leaned back. Can't we just make a volcano? Everyone makes volcanoes. Duh, because it's easy, I said, petting Daisy again. What about how to make crystal spikes out of Epsom salt? Sounds boring, I answered. So why'd you call her Daisy? He didn't look up from the screen. My sister named her. I wanted to call her Darth. Actually, technically speaking, her full name is Darth Daisy, but we never really called her that. Darth Daisy, that's funny. Hi, Darth Daisy, I said to the dog, who rolled onto her back again for me to rub her tummy. Okay, this one is the one, said August, pointing to a picture on the screen of a bunch of potatoes with wires poking out of them. How to build an organic battery made of potatoes. Now that's cool. It says here you could power a lamp with it. We could call it the spud lamp or something. What do you think? Dude, that sounds way too hard. You know I suck at science. Shut up, you do not. Yeah, I do. I got a 54 on my last test. I suck at science. No, you don't. And that was only because we were still fighting and I wasn't helping you. I can help you now. This is a good project, Jack. We've got to do it. Fine, whatever, I shrugged. Just then, there was a knock on the door. A teenage girl with long, dark, wavy hair poked her head inside the door. She wasn't expecting to see me. Oh, hey, she said to both of us. Hey, Via said August, looking back at the computer screen. 
Via, this is Jack. Jack, that's Via. Hey, I said, nodding hello. Hey, she said, looking at me carefully. I knew the second Augie said my name that he had told her about the stuff I had said about him. I could tell from the way she looked at me. In fact, the way she looked at me made me think she remembered me from that day at Carvel on Amesford Avenue all those years ago. Augie, I have a friend I want you to meet, okay? She said. He's coming over in a few minutes. Is he your new boyfriend? August teased. Via kicked the bottom of his chair. Just be nice, she said and left the room. Dude, your sister's hot, I said. I know. She hates me, right? You told her about the Halloween incident? Yeah. Yeah, she hates me, or yeah, you told her about Halloween? Both. The Boyfriend Two minutes later, the sister came back with this guy named Justin. Seemed like a cool enough dude. Longish hair, little round glasses. He was carrying a big, long, shiny silver case that ended in a sharp point on one end. Justin, this is my little brother, August, said Via. And that's Jack. Hey, guys, said Justin, shaking her hands. He seemed a little nervous. I guess maybe it was because he was meeting August for the first time. Sometimes I forget what a shock it is the first time you meet him. Cool room. Are you Via's boyfriend? Augie asked mischievously, and his sister pulled his cap down over his face. What's in your case? I said. A machine gun? Ha, <laughs> answered the boyfriend. That's funny. No, it's a... Uh... Uh, fiddle. Justin's a fiddler, said Via. He's in a Zydeco band. What the heck is a Zydeco band, said Augie, looking at me. It's a type of music, said Justin, like Creole music. What's Creole, I said. You should tell people that's a machine gun, said Augie. Nobody would ever mess with you. Ha, <laughs> I guess you're right, Justin said, nodding and tucking his hair behind his ears. Creole's the kind of music they play in Louisiana, he said to me. Are you from Louisiana? I asked. No, um, he answered, pushing up his glasses. I'm from Brooklyn. I don't know why this made me want to laugh. Come on, Justin, said Via, pulling him by the hand. Let's go hang out in my room. Okay, see you guys later. Bye, he said. Bye. Bye. As soon as they left the room, Augie looked at me, smiling. I'm from Brooklyn, I said, and we both started laughing hysterically.